You must be very excited leading up to the, uh, the Olympics. Tell me what you think of the team that you've got put together. Yeah, very excited going into these games. I mean, it's been incredibly hard two-year slog to get to this point. Um, you know, pretty much do or die a lot of the races that we went into in the World Cup season, even the World Championships. And yeah, to get to this point, it's just, you know, a dream, a dream come true for these athletes. You know, I will say that, you know, as Canadians uh, at this point, we are expecting to perform. You know, this is a great squad, both on the men's and women's side. And from the sprint perspective, I think that we're the most competitive we've ever been in an Olympic Games. So, you know, really excited coming up for these next couple of weeks. Uh, still a little bit of work to do. We saw some incredible times today, actually a couple of personal and national bests, you know, from our crew. But um, I think we can improve upon that with the continuation of our tape over these next few weeks. And are any of the team members first-time Olympians? Yes, we'll have Kate O'Brien, first-time Olympian, uh, originally the, the transfer talent athlete from bobsled. Uh, Monique will be a second-time Olympian uh, coming off of uh, London, uh, sixth place in London uh, 2012, and then Hugo Barrett will be first-time Olympian also. And is there any final preparations that, uh, <laughs> that you're going through that you want to talk about? As we say, the work's been done. You know, at this point, I mean, you can you can do too much at this point. I mean, you know, tapers are very fine lines between doing too much and too little, but we're a well-oiled well -oiled machine, you know, just a refining technique at this point. Um, just making sure that we give the appropriate amount of dosing each day in training and, and you know, keep the stimulation up, and I think we're going to be good to go. But I'm pretty confident in our squad and, and, and what we have coming up in the next two weeks. And at the Pan Am Games here, um, Kurt Harnett was a, a very big yeah. cheerleader since he's the chef de mission. Yep. Uh, I assume that he's going to be at all the track events too. So you think that's I would reasonable? say, uh, you know, as a as a former sprinter myself, you know, uh, with a with a, a former sprinter, you know, as a chef de mission, I expect that Kurt's going to have a, genu a genuine interest in seeing track cycling. I mean, obviously, he's there for the entire to get the uh, Canadian squad, but um, I do expect to see him track cycling for some of our events. Excellent. Thank you. Well, good luck to the team. Thank you.